Hey folks, Chris Vandeviver here from whylogicprorules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. And today I want to share with you a strategy or philosophy that I've developed for songwriting in Logic over the years. Uh, if you're anything like me, I started out playing in rock bands, right? So guitars, bass, drums, vocals, and what we would do always when it came to songwriting was usually the guitar player by themselves or with other people would write the songs, right? So they pick up a guitar and then play around with some notes or some chords and it would be this process of finding inspiration and eventually maybe they found a chord progression or a lead that excited them. So then began the laborious process over a month or two of writing a song and it took forever, right? It was always start from ground zero and work your way up to a completed song. And when I began to make music in Logic, I took that same process and just applied it to Logic. You know, I pick a vintage key or whatever and say like, oh, okay, plunk around, uh, try to find inspiration. And then finally it hit me. It's like, why am I trying to write songs from scratch each and every time? It makes no sense. So my strategy now, I call the preset workflow or preset mentality. And instead of trying to start from scratch from a place of no inspiration each and every time, I use all the tools available to me within Logic from the Apple loops to drummer to the presets, I have a very preset mentality. I'm gonna pl I'm gonna go through the different menus, find something that inspires me, and then build from there. Now, this is this maybe for electronic musicians, it's not such a big deal, but for rock musicians, this is blasphemy, right? This is like what using pre-recorded loops, using pre-recorded instruments. This is not at all. Uh, authentic or whatever, but I say throw that out the window. You want to get going fast. You want to create great stuff fast and Logic has all the tools available. So I don't want to waste too much time. I want to show you this riff that I have here that was completed with a butt of mine. And I'm going to play just part of the riff and like 99% of what's in here was built using just the sounds in Logic, right? So let's just take a listen. <laughs> Right. That sounds massive. It sounds super in your face and just like slick. And that's just everything that's contained within Logic. I bounced everything down to audio tracks to save on CPU, but I've got the tracks hidden here. And, you know, the clap tracks come from some sort of uh, drummer design. Yeah, here we go. Drum kit designer. Um, the analog circuits come from the drum machine. And then that gnarly lead thing that kind of walks up at the end here. Let me just play it for you. That's my bud just walking up the keys and then I fixed it, I quantized it. He didn't he didn't quite perform perfectly, but you know, that's just alchemy. And it's just this Vox box lead and we just played around with the XY pad till we found something we liked and I mean literally the process was plug in keyboard listen to sounds as we go through the presets in the library, right? And the loop library or drummer. It's just amazing what's available to you. So it's, it's one thing to tell you about this, but let me show you. I have a different session here that I want to open. I've just started this on my own. It's far from complete. And it's a hip hop riff, right? So let it pop open. So I'll walk you through each one of these real quick. I've got a couple drum tracks and hi-hats. All right, let's listen. Cool, so I played this beat on the action drums in Alchemy. This is my favorite drum patch in Alchemy. But 
Usually the action drums are really in your face and cinematic. I found on the XY pad here that the big boom has a little tighter of a sound. Right? Then there's this punch me bass. And I just went to the synths and I started looking through the bass patches and I eventually came to this punch me one that I liked. Okay. Then there's this detuned ghost bass, which again, I just went through the synths. I was like, okay, I feel like this bass is lacking a little articulation. Let's check it out. And then ultra beat hi-hats, I went into, let's see here. I went into the dr electronic drum kit, drum machine designer kit pieces, and then searched through the hi-hats for something I liked. I added step effects. And I just wanted it to pan from left to right. Pretty awesome. But it's not complete, right? I want to add a little more. I want to start making this pop. So the first thing I... I thought of was I want to add a drummer track, right? So let's bring in drummer. And since this is intended to be hip hop, we're going to keep it at hip hop. Boom. So let's bring this further down. Maybe like there. Now I love Maurice. I think his kit always sounds awesome. The Creed Digger patch. Let's take a listen. Okay, that sounds a little too slow for my feel. And I'm also gonna have this follow the action drums, right? So let's loop it. Okay, still not feeling that quite as much, but I love the kit. So since Logic 10.3.4 or something to that effect, you can now switch up the drummer, but keep the kit. So I'm gonna switch to an electronic drummer because I feel like Something like Jasper is going to have a little more energy behind it. So let's change the drummer. It's going to change the kit for the moment. Let's take a listen. Okay, let's see if we can find something a little more. Okay, and I'm going to change the kit back to Crate Digger. Okay, I'm digging on that, but I still feel like that there needs to be more energy behind the bass. It needs to pick up. So let's create a new software instrument. And I always start with an empty patch. And whenever I'm kind of lacking in terms of uh, what sound to use, I'll go for the arpeggiator, right? And then I'm looking for a synth. Let's see here, synth chord maybe. And then we'll pick the anthem chord arpeggiator. Right? And I'm just going to drag this bass track down to when drummer hits. Okay? So even though it's the same notes, it adds this rhythmic element that didn't exist before. And it sounds pretty cool. The one other thing I want to do is, is I was playing with guitar right before this video, and I came to some guitar notes that I really dug on and found some patches I really liked. So I'm gonna track real quick here, a guitar lead. And I am I just went through the electronic, or excuse me, the electric guitar patches, experimental guitars, and then went down to Spring Theory. So this is just a patch. I didn't mess with anything within the patch. Let's record. Cool. Um, but I feel like that there could be a little more to this whole thing. So I'm going to duplicate my guitar track and I'm going to pick spin cycle and see what that yields. So I'm just going to copy this guitar track down. Here we go. Cool, right?
right? I started from a relative place of, you know, not too much going on. And I've already added tremendous amounts of energy to this track using drummer, just adding another bass track and going through the arpeggiated presets. I've added a couple guitar tracks using just the presets within the experimental guitars. I mean, there's so much available. And as soon as I threw out the window, this idea of being a purist and like having to start from scratch each time and, oh, I got to build a new synth patch from scratch. It's like, well, I never started by building a guitar before I played it, right? I just picked up a guitar and started playing. So that's my interpretation of all these sounds and presets now is like, it exists. It's for it's there for me to just pick up and start going. So I implore that you try out the preset workflow, preset mentality the next time that you begin writing new music, trying things out. I think you will have tremendous success creating awesome songs and riffs in very little time. Thanks so much for watching. And if you dig on this, I highly suggest subscribing to this channel or subscribing to on the website, whylogicprorules.com. Every week I post a new post that helps you get the most out of logic. Thanks so much.